I mean, we're ramping up the testing capability, but we've got to do obviously much more. And you've got to have both tests in place. You've got to have the test, the so-called PCR test that enables you to see whether someone has the disease. But then there's the development of the antibody test, which will allow you to see whether someone has had it. And so, because the problem with coronavirus is that it only ever affects a small number of the population at any one time. So only a small number of people need to be in quarantine. But because we don't know who has it, uh, for sure, or who has had it, then you have to lock down the entire country. So testing and then tracking and tracing is absolutely essential. Because the one thing you know is as you open back up again, you know, some activities are obviously much less risky than others. But as you open back up again, you're bound to get outbreaks and you've got to be in a position where you can immediately trace those and, and track them and then um, take the measures to make sure that people who are a risk to others are quarantined. Now, all of that is whilst we wait for a vaccine, which is obviously a longer term prospect or a therapeutic, which could happen more swiftly and obviously also be a game changer because it would reduce the severity of the disease. But my point, really the point I'm trying to make today is each of these areas has got to be gone into real detail. The plan's got to be a detailed plan telling you the level, um, the levels of opening up that you're going to go through, precisely what they are, the metrics that trigger each of them, the measures of containment that are in place, and then to communicate that with people so that they understand why you're taking the decisions you are. But, you know, if we don't start this process of opening up, then, you know, that, that as every week passes, the economic damage mounts. Um, and one of the things that I think will be very clear going forward is that absent the vaccine or the therapeutic that makes a real difference, we're going to have to be building the capacity now and here for things like masks and protective equipment. Because I think that will be part of, you know, I know the government's dubious about the question of masks or not. I, I've got no doubt at all that in the end we will be saying to people, if you're going on public transport, um, you know, wearing a mask is what you should do. I think people will find it much mm -hmm. easier and have much more confidence in using public transport if that's the case. So there's a whole range of things that need to be done and actions that need to be taken now and making sure, obviously, that you're building the capability of doing the PCR and the antibody tests. Because I think, and I, I thought this from the very beginning, your only way out of this is to do testing on such a scale that you have a high degree of confidence at any one time that whatever measures you're taking, you understand exactly what their implications are. And if there's anybody who gets infected with the disease, you can immediately um, trace them and track them.